Hey guys, me Steve. It's uh, Sunday the 5th of March 2017 and it's 1.30pm uh, in the afternoon. Come over to the common to say hello to Adrian uh, Gilbert. Going to his location now. I've got my little head camera so I'm going to put on in a minute. So this camcorder is going to uh, be a bit wonky for a few seconds. Guys, Steve here. Um, I thought I might be having a little problem, but I didn't. So, this is probably where Adrian kind of banged the song for Gilbert died in this area 2014. Apparently, he took an overdose and probably was laying around here, dragging himself around this area. It's the kind of area you said he was on the Ouija board. So I just don't know where I'm going to try and drag myself. I put a cross and chain over there. Might have saw it on the uh, Head cam. Must be terrible to see someone die, find a dead body around here. You see, it's been really raining quite a lot, guys. I'm not going over there, it's just too wet. Sliding around everywhere. But I'm not staying too long, guys. It's uh, very cold and windy. I'll uh, make tracks over to the of the area in a minute. Because I didn't have this camera was still running at the time. I'll quickly just show you where I put a little crossing chain. Crossing chain. I don't think anyone's going to see it from where I put it. I can only barely see it here. So that's a uh, costume change for Adrian Gilbert. That's for you, mate. Um, I'm going to quickly try and get me look here out. No, it's going to be very hard to do an EVP here because of the daytime traffic contamination. We've got to give it a quick go and it's a little corner bit. Sorry, that guy, something went in my mouth. Adrian, if you're here, mate, it's me, Steve. Spoke to him on the weedy board last week. So I haven't been down here before then, because it, oh, it's been kind of too lazy, to be honest with you. It's been cold and raining the swell. So as you're around, you shout hello. and shout out your name for us. Adrian. He's very gangster in the wind. 
but the wind got calmed down a little bit and I'll show it out again. Think you want to tell us, mate? Shake your name out now. Right. Quick first room, how far I've got right in heaven, and I'll be the name. But I think I'm now shall be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day a daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, and forgive those who trespass against us. And if us going to temptation, let the live us from evil, but now is the king of the power of glory forever and ever. Amen. I hope you're resting in peace, Al. Uh, Adrian. God bless you, mate. So this is roughly where he may have died. He took his own life by taking an overdose of medication and drink, alcohol. Um, apparently he dragged himself over to this area. Could be here, could be a little bit further on, I don't know. And just perished. So for some reason EVP paused. Was I in the right area, Adrian? Can you say yes or no? Okay, Adrian, I'll come back another time, yeah? I'm just having a little walk around today. Thank you for speaking to us. Speak to you later, mate. I think I'm moving things on there, but it's just too, you know, too much wind. So I'm going to quickly check my head cam. Make sure it's still recording, guys. So hard to find do this one off. I've only got one pair of hands. One on the floor for a minute. Yeah, still recording. And for those who uh, are going to complain about the stabilisation, I can't do nothing about the camera. Either. It's got no stabilisation on the hand handy cam. Um, the head cam may have. I think it has, I think it's set, I don't know. And I don't really give a shit, to be honest with you. But it's too cold to start fucking around with big hands. So we'll um, gotta head over towards the uh, As you hear, mate. All right, camcorder went offline. I'm at uh, George Bidders. Uh, again, George Park Bid OC, erected by public subscription in remembrance of his effort to preserve his com this common 1896. Are they looking after your common properly, George? What do you feel about all these trees being cut down? It pissing you off like it is with Leonard. Oh, I can leave ditches there. 
kind of dangerous. Also I feel them instead of cutting trees down. I might just say it, heading over to the homeless tree now. And have one quick half walk around the lake. And then up the hill. And then down the hill. And then home. Because I've kept my wood that I've come over. Although I did say I'd come over Monday. And it's now. Sunday. I'll uh, dig out an old coin for the high one in a little while. I have been warned to be careful to communicate with the highwayman because he is a, a bad type of dude. There's a hard class as a highwayman's hanging tree. Why is there a bag of leaves there? My kite just went crazy then. Oh, let's dig a coin out. I always leave a coin here. Don't ask me why, but I do. I suppose there's a token of respect for the high I suppose. They had to make money somehow, didn't they? Right, so this is where I'm putting the coin. Just there. And I'm covering it up. I know there should be some coins here still. What's up, mate? Might we go on? Come on. Ten p coin now. The high woman here. Make someone save me five. There's another way of taking the photography. No one will take you. It's going to be spiritual. Well, I don't know what's happening to this camera cord, guys. It keeps either turning off or going in standby mode. That guy's taking photos. The camera keeps going into standby mode, I don't know why. Why does it keep going into standby? I have to keep an eye on this camera a bit more. Lucky my head cam should still be working, let me just check on that.
next door open. Oh, camcorder keeps going standby. I do not know why. Well, it's because the battery could be a bit loose. Well, it started to rain, but now it's suddenly stopped raining and the uh, sun's coming out. That's, the K2 just went off, but I think that's it was up near my jacket. That you, Leonard? Leonard, you with me? God, look at that sun. Oh, the sun's out now. Maybe they want me to stay out a little bit longer. I never, never really come to like had look over here that often. Don't really want to wander off the path too much. I could injure myself, slip and hurt myself and not able to get seen or heard. Glass bottle. I'd like to come over and do some metal detecting again sometime. Get my metal detector working. See if I can find a damn thing. I don't, don't know how many bodies could be buried amongst here, if any. The thing is, I tell you, finding a body would be fucking creepy. And horrible. Walk over this for a second. Fun little ponds, what do they think? Very boggy and marshy over there. Step in one of those, you might sink someone's bra or knickers there. <laughs> okay. Another thing is that you know, you see so much fucking litter, all these beer cans and shit. But shit, I've scratched my leg up. Beer cans, people just throw that can cause fucking fires. You know, like if it really is like in the summer and it's like blazing hot, that sun could cause those tin cans to make fires. These are so rubbish. Containers. So you know you've got people about 10, 20 feet away from rubbish bins. I just saw something over there. Like a, my eyes just seriously. Oh, that was weird. Um, right. Right, as I was coming around that pathway, just here, I thought I saw some kind of image, like a black misty. Well, not black misty, it wasn't that misty, it was like a, a solid object. And somewhere, in this pond, there used to be an old hut or something. And that's the brick wall over there. I thought it used to be over there. Actually, I don't know that is a bit cool. It might be a uh, sort of water hydrant or something. I'm not going over there because it's just too wet and muddy. Yeah, I think that's for like water. 
were like, you know, um, extinguishing fires. Wondering how many people have like made little camps over here. No, Adrian said he used to come over here quite a lot when he was a young lad, making tent uh, camps and sleeping out, having little fires. I still got my cakes in with you on. Still no fix on it yet. Uh, we used to use this as like our peeing ground. Oh, there's that concrete thing. I think that's just water hydrant thing as well. Um, I don't get it. Yeah, it's just water hydrant. Same as the thing over there. Maybe it's a bunker. Maybe someone's buried down there. Mm. Oh God. Someone's lost a shoe. It's a man's shoe. So that tree over there is supposed to be where two females hung themselves. Two lesbians. Oh god, I don't really want to walk up there. I just don't have the energy. Sorry Leonard, if you're up there mate, I'm not going up there. Too tiring and accurate. Not had no bits on K2. Really, to be honest with you. It was on my hats. Moving around. Yeah, no, it turns that way. So I'll go over there. See, there's a few other kind of weird things that have been stuck there. Which I doubt, but I never walk over there. The only thing is sometimes it does kind of like freak me out a little bit when I go there. Especially at night time. Ouch! <laughs> 
Ah, shit. Sorry, mate, guys. I just fucking got caught on these bone balls and got flipped on the leg. Ouch. Another trip. Look, see, they've even cut loads of trees over here, though. It's just a fucking shame. I don't know why I've done it. There's not a lot of fucking trees here as it is. No, they ain't put no new uh, baby trees down, have they? Maybe I'll over the next few years they might start growing again. You never know. They haven't pulled the roots up, have they? One day I'll uh, go over the upper part of the, the common, towards the Midders Pond. I'm not doing mistakes, it's too greasy. Start making tracks so I'm never really walked down that area, well I have walked down that area once but come to a dead end so I to walk back. Right, do a new fee in here. I won't get the K2 meter that. I'll uh, just come in a little bit more. What the fuck are they done here? Oh, it's all bubble gum. That's all bubble gum. You are disgusting. Right, okay. Let's walk a little bit further in. About halfway. When me and Aaron was here the other night, there were some guys over there with a bonfire. I just kind of like kept quiet for the last one. Hello, I'm nice the paranormal investigator. I'm uh, on the way home. Does anyone want to say anything? Apart from the morning time, like the day you did last time. Well, it's uh, March the 5th, probably about 2 2.15, between 2.15 and 2.30 pm. Something to run out in that time. Do you want to say hello to me? Oh, 2.12 actually. Is there any non-spirit people here? Any spirits? from the trees or common, uh, from the trees, the leaves or the ground, the earth, want to say hello, if so can you say what your earth or tree or leaf name is or whatever. Do 
If you said your name, can you repeat it, please? Because a motorbike just went past and probably went over the top of you. So uh, give it back 20 seconds. Wait until it disappears. Right, can you say your name again? It's just too much traffic, guys. Too much contamination. Can you throw a stick near me? Or snap a branch? Throw a stone near me? does freak me out at night time, especially just walking down the pathway here at night. It's kind of darker than the rest of the fucking common. Right, okay, you begin. I'll play those back later. See, it's only a short pathway, but you know, from there. Just to there. But at night time it's really fing spooky coming through this bit. Right, well. Okay guys, I've had enough for I'm um, cold. I'm dying for a drink of coffee. So I'm gonna make the tracks back home. Uh, Leonard, you're with me. You're coming home with me. Might as well come now, if not, you can make your own way back later. You want to give me a quick flash from the K2 meter, anyone? Alright, I'm off then. Uh, thank you for not harming me, spirit people. I should stay here where you belong. No one's to follow me home. Um, do a quick prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, and our fellow name. Our kingdom come, now shall be done. Our mother is in heaven, give us this daily bread. And forgive our, our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us from temptation and deliver us from evil. Thy kingdom, power and glory forever and ever. Amen. And if I've asked you to guide us and protect us on my home, make sure no evil spirits, ghost entities, either human or non-human, follows me home. I request that they stay here in God's name. And I will be back again soon. <laughs>